To God be the glory and welcome to this, your real illuminating moment. I'm O.W. Prince. This is interesting. The creature who discovered thought and reasoning and who credited himself with creating systems of thought and logic and who fashioned himself superior to all other creatures on the earth, the earth that he now claims ownership of, the same creature has now made himself into a god, a god over other creatures, determining who lives and who dies and how they should die, when they should die, and where they should be allowed to live, if they are allowed to live, and what they should be labeled as, valued as, discriminated as, treated as, and murdered, killed, tortured, imprisoned, enslaved, and named as. This wonderfully handmade creature has entertained iniquity in his heart and has tried to ascend to the throne of God to overthrow God, to set itself up as a self-validating, self-justifying, self-qualifying, self-exalting, self-righteous God who changes times and laws and who determines for himself what is holy and just, morally righteous and legal. This creature is an insane beast. He has forgotten that he himself is someone's creation and that his next heartbeat is at the discretion of his creator. This fool seems to be unaware that his very molecules are held together by the word of power of his creator who is architect, designer, and sovereign lord and god of all and who is in all and who knows all and who is present in every place at the same time. You know this sick, insane, self-righteous, egotistical, self-glorifying, deluded, iniquitous, image-worshipping creature. You've seen him on the television pretending that he is smarter than God and stronger than the deadliest disease and that he can create, improve, extend, and manipulate life and the natural environment and bend them to his will. You see him every day, and especially on the weekend, spinning a web of entertaining and imaginative stories out of a few well-chosen and prejudicially interpreted text out of one of his many translated collections of 66 books. Yes, you know this creature. He has shaped your whole world and told you what to believe, who to believe, and who to hate, and who to love, and who you can and cannot marry. He has determined your vocabulary for you. He has determined the definitions of words for you. He has determined your points of references for you, and he had determined the extent of your moral consciousness and sense of what is right and what is wrong before you were even born. He had determined these things for you. He told you how you should think about God, effectively placing his mark in your head, and he told you how and when to worship the image and idea of God that he has placed in your head, thus placing his mark in your hands, your works, your actions, your religious activities. Oh yes, you've met this beast, for she has devoured the world and shaped it in her vile and distorted image as she disguises her true nature with opulent brilliance, intellectual illumination, and theological profundity, seducing, recruiting, and deceiving the world to perpetuate her image over the true sovereign God and creator, Yahweh. Now, I will not insult your intelligence nor offend your sensibilities by naming this creature. I will leave room for you to participate in this conversation by you giving the name or names of this uniquely arrogant, elegantly crafty, and invisibly subtle creature yourselves. I'm sure that you will figure it out. After all, according to your own documentation and scientific and educational resources and authorities and all available human data, you are the smartest generation that ever walked the earth. <laughs> I'm O.W. Prince, and this has been your real illuminating moment. Keep looking up.